cloud. All right, we on live. What's up, Tyler? Hi. We live? We, we live. Yeah, we live. This We're live. Awesome. All right. <laughs> let's kick this thing off. Then. Well, let, let's uh, tell the, um, the listeners at home uh, who we are. So who are we? We, we, we know one, <laughs> but try to be famous. <laughs> It's at two lane. Anyway, so all right. So for the listeners at home, so welcome to Two Men One Cross podcast. Yay! First episode. Hi, Cora. Uh, so my name is Pete Tantasi. So I'm your instructor for the course. Uh, we have. Uh, Want to introduce your name? It's easier than Pete Punctuasi. Uh, it's Tyler Niemeyer. All right, Tyler Niemeyer. So uh, well, we 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 just know each other. And that's pretty much it. Not close. So. Not well. We don't know each other well. No, not really. So yeah. I think next week we should tell them how we met. Yeah, uh, all right. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, just get to know uh, each other a little bit more. So this for the listener at home. All right, we'll start with Tyler. All right. Mm. So Tyler, actually, uh, where, were you born again? Florida? Apparently, you know all of this. So go ahead and tell the viewers. <laughs> uh, baby Tyler looks like that. It's so cute. Look at that. Oh, and actually, that's uh, what, what I love. Oh, Lord. Look Where'd you pull oh, that gym you? from? Look <laughs> at that puka shell necklace. <laughs> anyway, so uh, born and raised in Florida, uh, went to the University of Central Florida, Orlando for like a year, right? And moved to University of North Florida uh, in Jacksonville sure. for undergrads, right? That's the, your freshman year, highly inappropriate. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> graduate in, uh, when did you graduate? 1985? 86. 86. <laughs> um, well, he graduated from uh, UNF and uh, had a daddy issue, so he moved to South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> uh, when I oh uh, stayed there for like a year, right, and I become a Notre Dame football fan. Um, <laughs> enrolled in the graduate school at Indiana University and earned his master's degree. What do you study? Some like exotic dance or something like that? Exotic dance, yeah, recreational therapy. <laughs> Study uh, recreational therapy, earned his master degree in 2019. And somehow that doesn't really mean anything that can, that can then still. Um, uh, surprisingly, good enough to teach at IU as an adjunct instructor. Good job, good job, good job. Um, and intro in rec recreational therapy. Uh, currently, Tyler is, um, is a director of recreational therapy at Flow Recreation. Am I right on that? That's right. There we go. All right. And basically, uh, Tyler's job is just bossing people around his client who unfortunately have autism while he's doing nothing. That's <laughs> about right. an interesting take. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing an amazing job and uh, uh, all the clients that we love him. And your business going well, looks like, right? It's going well. Okay. All right. Free time. Uh, Tyler is a mediocre crossfitter. Take a look. There we go. Oh, those are decent muscle ups. Wait, 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 wait. Am I on your TikTok? That looked great. Did you put those on TikTok? Yeah. Are you serious? So I'm on TikTok? I think so. I don't remember. Yeah. I've never been on TikTok in my life. This is amazing. <laughs> great, man. Look at muscle up on the um, overhead squats. Anyway, so that's about Tyler. Now, I'm your instructor, so listen carefully. <laughs> uh, I uh, went to graduate school uh, at the University of Missouri, graduated my first job. I flew to California, go to Cali uh, at Humboldt State University. Um, a year later, I moved to Indiana University. I took a road trip there, and that's how we met. Look at that. Well, <laughs> uh, we're so cute together. Anyway, so a few years later, I moved to uh, Colorado Mesa University, beautiful in a valley. Here we go. And at the same time, during COVID year, so I got to teach um, online um, at the University of San Francisco and National University, so that's in San Diego. Um, and finally, moved to Tulane University, so I've got a, one of the best jobs. Anyway, so these are all the instructors one more time. So uh, my, my name is Pete Pandasi. So we have Tyler, so we, we are guests uh, in, uh, in this course. We also have Mark Sokas, also a faculty here at the, university, uh, at the uh, Department of Chemistry. Okay. All right, that's a little bit of introduction. Now we're gonna move on to what you need to know about syllabus. So Tyler, act like you're gonna take this class or ask me anything, okay? Okay. Okay, all right, first thing, you go to the lab. 
what you need to wear. We have talked about that. So these are required materials. So uh, set, set the glasses down here, set the goggles up here. So what anything works. Uh, is glasses enough, Tyler? Glasses is never enough. Never you enough. still need whatever else you need. You tell the people. <laughs> If you wear glasses, so it's not enough, especially like a splash organic solvent can get into your eyes. So I we highly recommend, actually, we, we force you to wear um, uh, goggles over it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about contact lens? Are you wearing contact lens? No, my perfect vision. Your perfect vision, you're lucky. Some, some people do contact lens. So contact lens is a no-no in the lab. Do you know why though? Um, it's dangerous. <laughs> well, let's let, think about it. If you have, if you're wearing contact lens, walk to the lab and something splash your eyes, how long does it take you to take that contact lens out? Don't know, never had a contact lens. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the reaction time between the chemical and your eyes. You don't want that to like to be that long, okay? So that's why we don't, right. uh, so we, you can wear contact lens uh, in the lab, okay? Um, anyway, now calculator, do you have calculator? In undergrad, you, you did. Yeah, we use yeah, calculators. Right? Not like we an have... abacus. I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, we recommend the one and a half solar panel so you don't have to worry about like the battery dies during the exam. Okay. The lab notebook, anything works. To... This one, the one that a uh, bookstore uh, have, or you can uh, buy it from Amazon, but you know, anything works. We, yeah, we're not picky on the uh, lab notebook, anything that you can write down. Okay, and um, we also, uh, this one, we, we uh, require a pen, no pencil in the lab. We'll talk about later why we use pen, okay? If you have Sharpies, highly recommend it. It's easy to uh, level your glassware, and we have acetone, can just wash it out, all right? Uh, Tyler, have you heard about plagiarism? Oh, I have heard about plagiarism. Pete, will you define plagiarism for the people? <laughs> I'm not gonna define it, but yeah, all right, we, we're gonna assume that everyone knows what plagiarism is. Anyway, so we uh, ask you to take a plagiarism test, so just to make sure that you, we are on the same page, okay? Science, uh, scientific writing is really important, but if you cheat, it just, it ruins everything. Anyway, so if you go to the syllabus, I think it's page two. Um, it will tell you where to get to this page. You're going to go down to right here, click uh, I am undergraduate college, and click on it. It's going to link you to this page. Uh, before you enter an email and password here, you have to sign up up here. Okay, use uh, your two lane email addresses. All right, and then you log in, and that's it. So uh, once you've done the test, you're going to have the completion page. I want you to take a screenshot of it and upload it by midnight before lab one begins. Okay, just we want to make sure you know what the plagiarism is and uh, hope, hopefully you don't do it, all right? And lastly, um, the last required material, don't forget to smile. Tyler, smile. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hate good looking people anyway, all right? <laughs> okay, all right, now we're gonna talk about the, the component of this lab. So Tyler, if you're a student, you need to know this, all right? So this is how, where your uh, final grade comes from. Mm -hmm. um, Great component on the syllabus. You can look at the table content on page three. Flip it, you're gonna see at the bottom right here. Um, all right, great, and how to get an A, okay? So basically all your, uh, the final grades are based off this assignment. These are weekly assignments. So every week you're gonna have this. We have pre-lab quizzes, uh, pre-lab report, in-lab assignment, and lab report. Yeah, okay? we'll talk about this in a bit. Start with the pre-lab uh, pre quizzes. So we just wanna make sure that um, you are, um, Prepare before you go to the lab. Not like go to the lab and you don't know what, what to do. All right? So you have to read the lab handout and then take the pre-lab quizzes. And to find it, well, go to Canvas page. You click on the quizzes right there and we'll link to, here we go. All right. So right now I have three uh, pre-lab quizzes up. All right. And uh, the first one right here, this one, when you finish this video, this podcast, just go take it, this one. This one, uh, uh, just separate from the pre-lab quizzes. And everything in this course, try to make things thing easy for you. Every, all the assignments are due at midnight before the lab day, okay? Before the next lab day, what I mean, except the pre-lab notebook, this one have to be before. All right, so that's the pre-lab quizzes. You have to take it before, to the, uh, before you go to the lab. Now, next one, we also want to 
double check that you actually prepare. So we ask you to make a pre-lab report or pre-lab notebook as due when you walk in. Okay, let's talk, uh, let's take a look at the components of the pre-lab report real quick. All right, so it's written in your lab notebook. Okay, turn in when you walk in or whenever your TA asks ask you to submit it. The components, super simple, your name, your partner's name, title, date, TA's name, all right? Purpose, hypothesis, we just wanna know that you know what you're about to do in the lab. And very, very important, as a chemist, do not work with any chemicals if you don't know its property because safety reason. I'll take a look, this is my um, table of reagent. Doesn't have to be pretty. As long as you can read it, UTAs can read it, all right? So name uh, and or the structure of the compounds, hazard, so you can draw a picture out. So this is flammable, this is corrosive, this is irritant. And the most importantly, the first aid right here. So what ha what you have to do if it gets on your eye, your skin, or you uh, ingest, okay? Lastly, um, you need to know what you're about to do in the lab. So we ask you to convert the procedure in the lab panel you will see in the, on Canvas, convert that to a flow chart, convert the show the pictures right here. Okay, I, I'll, I'll upload the uh, example of flow chart on Canvas so you can see it later, all right? Now the flow chart needs to be very detailed so can, you can rely on it and you don't need to bring the lab pan out in and we don't let you bring the lab pan out in. Okay, so you have to be really, really prepared. You know what to do, what to weigh, and what, and how to analyze things. Okay, flowchart can help you with that. Anyway, so that's the um, pre-lab report. So 20 points. Move on to the in-lab assignment. So this one gonna be during the lab. What, what's gonna happen when you do in the lab? I'll take a look what's in it. All right, so the 20 point total. Save the attires. So we may, you wanna make sure that you wear um, all the goggles, your lab coat, and all the, everything uh, follow the rules. Okay, and show up on time. Um, when you collect the data, that's another, yeah, some points go to the collecting the data. Use pen, no pencil, all right? Anything that liquid paper or anything that erase the pencil, not, not, not at all, so use just a pen. Let's say if you write something wrong, well, what do we do then? We can't erase it. Well, we cross it like that and then write the correct um, number, something like that, okay? So whatever you see or your observation uh, during the lab, directly to the lab notebook, do not, write on a piece of paper, because if you lose it, that's two or three hours of work, it's gone. Be careful what had happened before, all right? Uh, TA will grade you during the lab. All right, we go to the last component now. So we have lab report, all right? So when, when you go to the lab, when you once you go home, you're gonna write lab report. And also this all deal uh, at midnight before the next lab day, okay? We use turn it in to check plagiarism. So for example, this one, this student uh, plagiarized quite a bit. You can see it right here, um, like the purple right here come from that source, 12%. We have the red one right here. There's a red right here. It should come from that another source right there. It will link to the source like that. Okay, so don't plagiarize. Just write on your own, with your own work. All right, how we done. So let's talk, uh, well, any podcast, we have to talk about the sponsor of this podcast. Here we go, Petco. Where the Petco? And this is Tyler and his uh, his dog, Lucas. So. Old dog, he died. <laughs> old dog, old dog. <laughs> What's his name again? Mur Murdoch? This one's Murdoch. Dog, okay. And that's my pup a couple of years ago. A year ago, I mean, here we go. So cute. All right, <clears throat> move on to rules. What do you need to know? Did you have the, like, when you were instructed at IU, did you have like a lab uh, section? I think you did. Um, the courses that I taught did not have a lab section. However, I taught a lab in a different course. Oh, have Does a lab. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see uh, if any lab rules are different from yours. <laughs> there are about Most uh, of them. nine to 10 labs in this course, three lab absences, that's automatic F. Okay, so you have to go to the lab, we require you to. Um, even if you go to the lab, but if you don't turn in the lab report, that is one absence because we don't believe that. I mean, you can, you can do the lab all day long, but if you don't go back home, analyze, write a lab report, you don't uh, complete the learning objective. So we don't let you uh, like pass on that. Okay, so um, receiving zero on the lab report, that's also another absence. Normally you can receive zero. That's, uh, as long as you write some things, you're not gonna get zero, but in some, some other circumstances, for example, you uh, copy from your friends, something like that, all right? Uh, we understand 
that sometimes your schedule could be tight or could be a little bit uh, uncontrollable. So we allow you to live up to 15 minutes. For 15 to 30 minutes, we are, we'll, we'll take some points off, 10 points off from your lab report, okay? I mean, from your uh, in-lab assignment. If you are late over 30 minutes, we don't let you in. So by the time we, uh, your TA is gonna talk about the safety, what to, what to do, what to be aware in the lab. And if you miss that, we don't believe that you can perform uh, safely in the lab, all right? Uh, inappropriate attire also takes some points off on that too. If you wanna miss lab or you have to, please let your TA know, okay? All right, now during the lab, cell phone, electronic devices, your laptop, actually we allow, you can bring those in, right? But I would love you, uh, would love uh, for you to pay attention to the TA, not on your phone, okay? So don't, please don't play game or social media during the lab, but uh, you can look things up uh, in the lab. We, we highly recommend it. Uh, no lab handout, you cannot bring the lab handout in because you have to make full charge, okay? Now, the earbud or the headphone are not allowed either. Do you know why, Tyler? You wanna guess? Because you need to listen to your lab instructor. Well, yeah, you need, you need to, right? But in the case, uh, in, uh, case of emergency, for example, fire, if the TA child get out of the lab and you have your headphone on, you can't hear the TA. That's a hazard. That's <laughs> uh, that's very very dangerous. Yeah. So don't let it, yeah. So uh, do not bring the earbud or headphone in the lab. Okay. I will bring an aux, uh, the um, Bluetooth connector, so you can play music in the lab. So we have that. Before you leave the lab, ask uh, for your TA to check your station. You're gonna clean everything out. All right. And your TA gonna sign uh, in your lab notebook. Okay. Uh, without TA signature, some students just left. Like disappear from the lab. Uh, without TA signature, that's one absence. So you need to let your TAs know because they keep track on you and wash your hand, sanitize. Uh, the TA, got, your TA gonna have this chart, your name on it, and they're gonna check uh, in lab how many points and then check, we'll check you out, something like that. All right. All right. Before you go to the lab, we have talk, uh, to talk about what to wear, okay? Do you know what, what not to wear, Tyler, in the lab? Um, I know a lot of things that you shouldn't wear, <laughs> like in public, in general. In general. All right, start with the shirt. The shirt, uh, try to not, uh, don't show much skin. All right, regular shirt size is fine. Uh, sleepless shirt is a no-no. Nah. -uh. Okay. Uh, pants, long. And period, it has to be long. Cover everything, no skin show. Uh, the most common mistake is right here the ankle, show ankle like that, right? Um, we have a lot of cases that, and thing about it is we have about 700 students uh, taking this course. How, how many uh, class, class breaking incidents are there? 32. Quite a, <laughs> quite a lot. And some of those actually splash like acid to your ankle. So we, we, want, to, we want you to have this protection, okay? So we compromise with you know, longer pants that cover your ankle or high socks, anywhere works. Okay, and that's the reason why you can't wear flip flop either. So stand up, uh, stand or flip flop is a no, right? So close to shoes. All right. Uh, this one really trendy this day: cut off jeans, anything that show holes. I look great, but it's not safe in the lab. So please do not wear those. Okay, just protect. Uh, basically, just no skin show. Uh, now, long hair is a no. What do we have to do, Tyler? If you have long hair, cut it off. You cut it off right away. Right there. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Don't, do not cut it off. We're going to have complaint or like threaten uh, mail to your house. <laughs> my parents right. forced me to cut my hair. Anyway, so uh, tied it up like that. Look amazing. Okay, so I just one flat flopping around and uh, just uh, getting too bigger, get to the acid and you lost, uh, lose your hair. Um, all the nails, earring, necklaces. So be careful. We uh, highly, highly recommend do not bring this in the lab. For the length of nails, I don't know. I don't have long nails, so I don't know. <laughs> but if it's really, really long, some people actually have long nails and it uh, turns to be a hazard or risky situation, you, it, your TA gonna tell you no. Okay, so, uh, well, don't wear any nails. Uh, earrings usually catch on things, right? Necklaces, same thing. Uh, people to have, uh, to, some people wear hats, love it, amazing. So put your hat in the hat, inside the hat, so we love that, okay? 
All right. Uh, quite, got quite a lot of question. Can you wear rings in the lab? What do you think, Tyler? I mean, if you like it, you should put a ring on it. <laughs> uh, ring is fine. We don't have any, um, uh, like, we don't prohibit the ring in the lab. But here's what happened. What if you take your gloves off like that? Well, when you wear gloves, your hair starts getting sweaty. And we you take your gloves off, the ring slide off your finger, and you lose a ring. Could be a family ring, could be an engagement ring, or winning ring. And some people look, uh, have lost that in the past. Okay, so you basically you can wear rings, uh, but we, we don't recommend, and uh, you, you could lose ring. Okay, and also rings may not be comfortable in the lab. It catches on anything like a pen, a tip of pipette, and your freedom. So I mean, you don't have to wear rings in there. Anyway, all right. Uh, the hair product, uh, you can put things on your hair. All right, it's fine, but do not bring it in because these are all, all these are flammable. Basically, set the attire. So. Uh, hair pullback, safety goggles, protective, uh, protective gloves, uh, proper clothing, no open ankle and closed toe shoes. There we go. That's pretty much it. No, I, any question, Tyler? I feel educated. <laughs> All right, before we go, uh, we're gonna close with the uh, auto correction and funny text. Have you ever text someone and uh, I mean, it, it went quite wrong? <laughs> Quite often, uh, let's take a look at the first one, all right? First person said, did you finish load the car up? Everything's fit? Almost, I ran out of space, so I trapped your grandma to the roof. Cool, or uh, I mean guitars, sorry. Too bad, and your grandma would love feeling the wind through the hair. How could you, <laughs> grandma and guitar? How does, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't uh... know the, the algorithm in there. All right, next one. Uh, just watch the news. The weatherman said to prepare for flamingos this weekend. Oh God, no, anything but flamingos. Ha, ah, flooding. This one is so silly. That's a relief. It was unsure. I was unsure how to prepare for a flood invasion. Uh, I see. Last one. Talking to your mom. You will not believe the day I have. I devour a baby in a cap. You what? Totally. Ah. Oh God, deliver this phone, I swear. Oh my God, wow, wow. boy or girl? Gorilla. <laughs> girl. <laughs> um, oh, think of the fun right here. So we're gonna close right here real quick. Um, what if, so this is your first um, chemistry course in college and we love to have you and you're gonna have a lot so much fun with us, all right? But we wanna close right here. So what others see you, it's not important, how you see yourself means everything, you know, right? So some people say like, you can't be this, you can't be that. Uh, you have to do this, you have to do that. Well, don't listen to them. Every, your future is in your hand, okay? All right, before we go, so uh, if you like our podcast, don't forget to click like, subscribe, rate five star, and you can also leave a comment and send it to your friends and family. So we're gonna be famous, hey <laughs> And at the end of the semester, we will go viral, yay. All right, so this, um, uh, you can, <laughs> You can, you can uh, um, con contact us, like so this uh, uh, contact information for Tyler and it's for me and then feel free to, and we would love to talk to you, okay? All right, anything else, Tyler? That's it, man. This has been real. Been real? <laughs> been real. Well, we're gonna have, uh, we and you're gonna see me and Tyler pretty much every week when the lab starts, okay? And that's it. That's every it. week? We're doing this every week? This is a weekly thing? I didn't know this was a weekly <laughs> commitment. All right. Anyway, so, well, we hope that uh, you're having an amazing day and uh, well, we'll see you in, in, a, in a few weeks. <laughs> Yay.